before you use any paint, you need to shake it. Yeah, just you need to shake it because um, when they produce the paint, uh, the top layer is thinner, the bottom layer is the paint. So you have to mix them well. Okay, I have to mix them well first. Done. Mm. So what I want to do with this is that I need to paint this. It's a big chunk of wood. Mm. It's very heavy. So normally I would, I would only use one side. Uh, I don't use all over the place. Uh, otherwise it would be very difficult to close it. So I'm using a very it's a hardened, not so nice to use brush. But as for other things, uh, like doing this kind of work, uh, I don't like... After painting, I don't wash them. I just soak in the water. And this is what, you, this is what happens. Because it has been in water for many months, uh, it's not like a few days. Mm, and to wash it, it takes a lot of time, uh, a lot of uh, thinner to, to clean up the paint. So I, I just put in the water. And even, even harden, so you just put in the water and take away the oxygen from the air. That will make it harden. Listen to the sound of the birds, it's so beautiful and melodious. Okay, I got some paint on my hand, so I'm gonna use a turpentine. There are two types, you can use a turpentine or a thinner to clean it off. Ta-da! Now we're gonna paint the top. Prolong the life of this thing. Mm. Whatever you can do is uh, rather than using uh, the, the wood, this is free. Uh, you, you can use cement. Get cement and put it on top. Or you can use a towel to put it on top. It look very nice. I just put it into water. See? Yeah, and let it let it let it soak until you need it the next time. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is to even out the edges so that it look nicer rather than having up and down. It doesn't look good when I cover it with uh, aluminum foil. So I really need to use this one. It's a 90 degree perpendicular ruler. So I'll it that way so that I can draw a one straight line. And after that, I'll cut it so that it looks nice. Yeah. See, it's not straight. This part here, I'm going to cut it until I get a straight one. A straight line, something like this. Yeah. This part, I believe, should be okay. Yeah. If it's not okay, we'll, we'll do something about it later. So, okay, let's get started.
the, the group is very hard. Very tough, very difficult to cut. This is very hot, very hot. Today what I want to do is, uh, this is an aluminum foil, I'm going to use the aluminum foil to cover the top part of the manhole such that the water doesn't go inside. When I cover it up, hopefully it will last for more, many years to come. So today we're gonna, what I'm going to do is to, to cut it into the size that I want, cover it on top until this part here, because this part is going to sit on the, the cement, on the ground, and when it rains it's going to heat water, so I'm going to cover this part here, and this part here. This way I'm going to cut it, such that it covers the side as well as the, 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 the part here and hopefully I can just this part here I can slip it inside I can only do it on one side I can do it on both sides Just cut off this piece. This is terrible one, terrible one. So I'm gonna cut the other one. I'm gonna cut that way. inches so I'm gonna cut now. I will use the scissors so I don't need to do many times again. Okay. 